<laughs> oh gosh. What's poppin' fam? My name is Brennan Myers. This is the homie Caesar Sosa, aka Planch King. Say what up? What up, fam? For the next week, we have a special opportunity for you. I know shipping prices can get pretty pricey, especially overseas and domestic. So we decided to eat that up and give you free shipping for the whole week. That being said, the new driven hoodies, lightweight hoodies, and the hats are officially out. So go check it out on the card right here or in the description. I like how you're doing this, the pointed thing. Also, if you haven't just subscribed to my daily vlog channel, go ahead and check it out in the description as well. Now for this video, what are we going to be talking about today? We're talking about tricep dips, tricep extensions, and how you can help your ligaments get stronger for handstand push-ups. Yes, and it's not only that, but it's also getting more shredded in your triceps, getting stronger, building not only ligaments, but the tendons around the specific joint, and so it can aid in everything that you want to do functionally in your movement. So without further ado, let's get this started. So to get this started, we're going to be laying on the ground. And for this movement, you could be doing this at the top of a parking garage like we are at the beach. You can do it in your room before you go to bed, at the gym, in your office, anywhere, anytime. So keep that in mind if you're making an excuse saying you can't really get an exercise or workout in at that time. So we're going to be laying on the ground. And first of all, I want to take off my jacket. So what we're going to be doing is keeping this hat on. <laughs> And then we're going to be laying on our backs, okay? And from this position, we're going to keep our head on the ground. And remember, we're focusing on those triceps. So we want to hit all of those heads on our triceps. So how do we do that? We need to make this movement extremely hard for us. So there's going to be different progressions. We'll go through that in just a few moments. So what we're going to be doing is coming up from this position, okay? From laying down and keeping those knees bent flexed right here. Our butt is going to be on the ground. Both of our feet are going to be on the ground. You can make them a little bit wider. You can make them closer. Generally, just shoulder width apart is good for you, all right? And what we're going to do is have our hands just outside of our shoulders and about mm, a little bit more than just outside of our shoulders. So if you can see here, I'm pretty, I'm pretty wide, right? Now, from that position, we're going to br bring our elbows down so we're sitting just as so, tucking in our chin. And from this position, you are gonna be exploding at the same time, this is really, really hard, as our hips coming up. And as you can see, this is extremely tough for me. Oh God. So that is the actual movement itself. Now we're gonna go through the progressions in order to get to this point. I can't even do it completely the most difficult way, Caesar, come try it for yourself, actually. Right. He he is a lot stronger in specific positions, especially the planche and also handstand push-ups, so let's try it. So he's gonna go down again. Remember, this is the highest difficulty of this movement. And he's gonna stay here, keeping that chin tucked, and he's gonna try and simultaneously extend at that elbow while he's bringing those hips up. How hard was that? It's pretty hard. <laughs> so he's gonna try it one more time. Yeah, so even him, you can see how his hips are coming up just slightly after the specific movement from the triceps, okay? So how are we going to progress to this movement right here? Well, we're gonna work on a few things. First of all, let's try and bring our body, our upper body up first, then bring our hips up. Very good. Now notice how he's completely extending through that tricep. Let's take off this jacket really quick for them. And you'll notice throughout the whole movement, he's keeping his core tight. He's making sure that both of his feet are not flaring around. He's focusing on a complete hard rocked body, which you need for your planche, you need for your handstand, you need for your front lever, your back lever, and all of these bodyweight movements. So let's go right back down here with the shirt off. You can see a little bit better. Remember, his elbows are not all the way here, okay? It, they're not in a complete straight line. His hands aren't in a complete straight line. They're just, I would say 15 degrees pointed outward, okay? A little bit externally rotated at that shoulder. So what we're gonna be doing is focusing on bringing that upper body first, then bringing the hips up simultaneously, okay? And we'll do it again simultaneously and one more time. So if you notice, he's actually working on like an impossible dip, and this is a great exercise for that, you would say, right? So every single time, he's just focusing on having those triceps extend, working on the lower half of that movement, then the full extension, and then once you have that, we can move into something a little bit more specific, and that is, or a little bit more, uh, a little bit higher difficulty, okay, well, and you'll see, yep, you can try one leg, 
then bringing it up, right? So one more time and then up. So even as a beginner, you can get a little bit stronger by increasing the variation. So how are we gonna do that? We're going to just bring one leg up, right? And then we're still gonna be bringing that upper body up first, then our hips. But now, once he goes to two feet, trying to bring up his hips at the same time as his upper body, watch how much harder it is, just like he did at the beginning. So yeah, he's gonna go for it at the same time. So it's extremely, extremely tough, but he has to make sure that he's completely extending at the elbow, which he did a very good job at. Now, in order to get to this point where you can fully extend at those hips and at that, uh, that elbow joint at the same time, we need to focus on bringing one leg up and a little bit less upper body and more hips. So come back down and you'll watch very, very closely. So he's gonna bring one leg up Okay? Now, as a beginner, remember, you're bringing your upper body up first, then your hips, right? This is a little bit higher, harder than beginner, but where do we go from there? How do we make it even harder? Well, let's focus more on keeping our hips coming up at the same time as our upper body. This is going to be a lot more uh, just aggressive towards those triceps and our whole body in general. So with these types of tips, you can build incredibly strong and shredded triceps, especially if you have your body fat at a lower percentage and if you stay driven. <laughs> you see I just stay plugged driven. that in. <laughs> but generally, uh, what type of movements can this aid in? Well, you have to think about it. Your triceps aid, their synergistic muscles, and they work with a lot of movements like your handstand push-ups. So let's try and do a handstand push-up right now. Even and pulling. Let's see, yeah, and even pulling or, sometimes. Uh, climbing the rope, rope climb. Yeah, so like if you're pulling for a rope climb and you're coming back down, now, as you extend down, you're going to be pushing away. But remember, when you are pulling in any movements, you're not really using your triceps. They are antagonistic, which means they're not being used. Only pushing movements. So if you are coming down on the rope pull, that will have a significant aggression towards those triceps. Also, let's see, so uh, handstand push-ups. We also have your regular push-ups. So if you're wondering why your push-ups might be lacking, it could be, well, outside of your chest muscle, your triceps. They're not really strong enough or they don't have enough endurance. So focus on that. So let's show them a handstand push-up. You think you got one right now? Maybe. We'll see how it is. Take, that, take the hat off. Take it off. Hat off. Let's do it. Let's see how it is. All right. So you can see a lot of his triceps are being used here, especially for that press. When he presses, triceps like crazy. Let's do one more. You can really, really see how much his triceps are being worked throughout that whole movement. Let me try one. I, I gotta try one for them. Gotta get it, let's go. On cam, on the cam. Okay. On the press. On the cam. On the cam. Right, get it, get it. Let's go one, let's go one. Okay, so, I, I did get some. That's what I'm talking about. So all of these movements, will be working with those triceps, not agonistically, but more synergistically, right? So let's keep on focusing on that. Let's keep on working towards not only our biceps, not only our forearms, not only our chest, but also those triceps. Maybe, maybe don't forget about those calves, those quads, those hamstrings, those glutes, all these smaller muscles that you might not be working have a huge effect on your overall movement. So, Lance King, Cesar Sosa, the homie, thank you for tuning in for this. Also, if you forget the driven hoodies and everything is free shipping all week. And if you want some type of program that can assist with all of these types of movements, check out our Body Evo program or go to the Body Design tool and we'll help you out with that. It's in the description. Other than that, thanks for tuning in. Why are you smiling, bro? <laughs> Why are you smiling? I've literally been talking so much. So much, so much. For the past 10 minutes. I am tired. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on Saturday.